Good day to everyone. I'm Mad Wantamad and welcome to another video here at Matodos Channel. For today's video, we are going to give you an update of a system somewhere here in Montelupa. So to start the walkthrough, let's go start with the fish tank over here. Let's go to the fish tank. Let's feed the fish. Okay, so let me see if the fish are hungry. So here we have a hundred red tilapia. Uh, we can give them some commercial feeds. The water is a little bit murky because a while ago we scrubbed the flooring. So after a few uh, months, the walls and the flooring will have algae. So to maintain the walls and the flooring of our fish tank, uh, we use a brush with a long uh, handle to reach the different uh, walls and the bottom of the fish tank to clean the algae and some of the solids. So by doing that, you agitate the water and some of the solids that are left uh, at the bottom will be uh, mixed and be sent to the solid lifting outlet over there. Okay, So the fish are not hungry because they were stressed because we cleaned it a while ago. So from the solid lifting outlet over here, it goes to our filter over there, okay? So let's go to the filter. Okay, so from the solid lifting outlet, it exits our radial flow filter over here. So the radial flow filter has a radial flow first stage, a static bed on the next stage, another radial flow compartment on the uh, third stage, and an MBBR or moving bed bioreactor at the last stage. So the MBBR converts the ammonia into nitrates and the nitrates are used for the plants. So before we go to the plants, a while ago we cleaned the filter. So how do we clean this filter? Uh, we just simply divert the air from the moving bed to the static bed. So by doing that, you agitate the static bed and by agitating the static bed, you uh, get rid of all the muck inside the static bed and then we drain our we let that simmer for five minutes and then we drain our filter okay so let's go to the drain of the filter so here is the drain of our filter so a while ago we got some uh, basins and some uh, pails to drain the filter so let's get a sample of how dirty the drain is. So now it's a little bit cleaner compared to a while ago because we already uh, took some samples, no? So here are the samples. So many viewers have been asking, what do we do with the solids we collect from the filter? So what we do is we decant it for about 30 minutes to let all the solids settle down at the bottom and then after decanting the solids we get a hose so this is an example of a clear hose so you so you can see what's happening you start a siphon by adding water inside the hose so the air you're seeing is uh, the water being displaced by the air inside the hose okay and then carefully you add the, let's go here, it's a little bit tight. You add one end of the hose to the top part of this, uh, to this top part of this container and then add the other end to the sump and then release it. Okay, so by releasing, you get the clean water on top of the container. So you, you don't get the solid, you don't bring back the solid to the sump. Okay, so you let that transfer so the water here you let that transfer to the sump so we leave that there okay because it's clear you can see that there are no solids returning back to the sump okay and then this one you don't put at the bottom you just put at the, at the mid part of the container okay so again we don't waste any water in aquaponics you can decant all the solids and then bring it back to your sump. So it only took around 30 minutes to decant that. So here are some of uh, the other solids we decanted. I think we caught an ulang here. So let's see if we can spot the ulang here. 
Let me get a net. Okay, we have a net here, a small net. So a lot of you have been asking me how we deal with the excess solids. So we don't waste the exit solid, excess solids we get from uh, the filter. This you can add to your uh, terrestrial or soil based garden or you can add to your worm bin or vermi bin. The ulang is hiding. So we do this, we screen the sludge so we make sure that there are no fingerlings or uh, freshwater prawns trapped here or else we just throw this or discard this in the worm bin. So we don't want to do that, no? Uh, it's hiding underneath the layer of sludge, okay? So another maintenance we do uh, for the system is to add uh, organic uh, spray, no? So here, here's an example of an organic spray they use. No? So this is just a tea bag. So there's the tea bag. The tea bag consists of uh, chili, uh, onions, uh, garlic, and then we add here brown sugar. Or you can add molasses if you don't have brown sugar, okay? And then this one we spray at the bottom of the leaves, okay? And and one drop of uh, dishwashing uh, dishwashing liquid, okay? Because the leaves are hydrophobic, so you need a drop of uh, soap to uh, make sure that the concoction here attaches or adheres to the leaves, okay? So you just spray uh, some of the leaves that are affected by the pest. You spray underneath the leaves, okay? And then when it rains, if you don't have a rain shelter like this one, of course you have to reapply, okay? So let's place this back here. Then also we do some pruning. So we pruned a while ago. We did some prunings. So pruning helps uh, in the circulation of air underneath your uh, grow bed. And it also uh, removes su suckers which uh, do not... Uh, which only rubs the tomato of nutrients and do not really produce anything, okay? So here we have tomatoes starting, we have flowering branches, we have tomatoes over here, and some here. And then also we have okra here. They already harvested some of the okra already. And at the far end, I'll just let the cameraman go inside and film the bitter gourd at the far end. So we go inside the uh, back part where we, we're not only utilizing the vertical space, we're also utilizing the, we're not only utilizing the horizontal space, we're also utilizing the vertical space. So you can see a, a nampalaya there, no? a bitter gourd fruit hanging there. We also have one on the roof over here. So I don't know if the camera can see this one. It's there. No? So we have, uh, I don't know how we can harvest that, no? maybe you can use a ladder to harvest that, okay? So again, uh, by maintaining or pruning your uh, plants, you, you get more fruits from less leaves. No? So in aquaponics, we believe that less is more. No? So. From this gravel bed, it exits a bell siphon over there. This is the inlet and that's the outlet. And then it goes to the sump over here. So the siphon is already done. The first uh, bucket is already done. This one you can re-siphon. And uh, you can, this one you can re-siphon up, up to the bottom or you can just uh, place this one in your soil-based garden, okay? So we'll start another one. So it's very easy to do. Again, to start the next siphon, you get water, you loop the hose, you get water, I disturbed it too much. No? So you have to be very careful not to disturb it. Okay? You get water inside the hose, and then you do the do the step again. No? So you put one end here and one end at the sump, and then you release. 
Okay, so the site will start it, okay? Okay, so we let that siphon first, and now we go to the next part of the grow bed, okay? So here we have some basil and some new seedlings of lettuce, okay? So they already harvested all the lettuce here. Huh? So again, to get lettuce every week, what they do is they uh, schedule the seedling, okay? So here we have an empty grow bed. So those are the net pots underneath. So they will be reseeded later. And then this next grow bed already has seeds. So it's already seeded. And then this grow bed is already germinated. So each grow bed is at least one week apart, okay? So one week, you start the cycle over there. The next week, you seed this one. And then the next week, you can start growing the seedlings okay and then after four weeks uh, you can harvest this one okay so to recap again here we have a made four grow bed elevated system uh, we clean the fish tank regularly using a, a mop so the tilapia are now surfacing can you see the tilapia the tilapia are now big though compared to the last video no there's a tilapia over there. These are red tilapia. Uh, they ate all the feeds already. Now let's add some more feeds. There. Let's see if they're hungry. Again, we clean the sides of the wall and the bottom using a uh, broom with a long handle to reach the bottom. And then, we also clean our filter regularly. And then the sludge we get, we decant using uh, different containers. After decanting, we return the water back to the sump over there. Okay? And then, the sludge we get over here, we add to our vermi bin or to our soil-based garden, okay? And then, of course, when you do that properly, you get uh, big fruits, uh, nice heads of lettuce, and nice herbs, okay? Okay, so if you have questions about aquaponics, or urban garden, or uh, dealing with your excess lodge in your system, uh, we have our Facebook page, Bodger Aquaponics. We also have our YouTube channel, Madodel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Did you hear that bell? That's, uh, uh, that was not added in uh, editing, no? <laughs> Click the notification bell to get updated on, your future, on our future videos. Again, thank you for watching.